Welcome to Sentinel Skills. Today we're diving into the world of Security Operations Centers, or SOCs. Why does the digital world need SOCs today more than ever? In this era of digital interconnectedness, the cyber threat landscape has evolved and become more complex. Cybersecurity isn't just a nice to have anymore, it's a vital necessity. That's where SOCs come into the picture. SOCs are centralized units stocked with a dedicated team, processes and technologies. Their goal? To keep a watchful eye on, scrutinize and mitigate security breaches across a company's digital infrastructure. In other words, they are the vanguard in the cyber world. The dangers are diverse and numerous, lurking in the digital shadows. They can be anything from commonplace malware infections and phishing attacks to advanced persistent threats and insider threats. In response to these menaces, SOCs wield a powerful mix of proactive threat hunting, continuous scrutiny and incident response capabilities. But their role isn't just about defending. They are crucial to protecting a company's assets, safeguarding data integrity and maintaining operational robustness. They guard not only the digital infrastructure, but also the very lifeline of a company. The dangers are many and varied, and so are the defenses. SOCs meet these obstacles head-on, using their know-how to locate weaknesses, identify irregularities, and disarm threats before they can wreak major havoc. They are the cyber stewards, working round the clock to safeguard our digital lives. In this intricate digital landscape, the value of SOCs is unparalleled. They stand as a fortress against cyber threats, the protectors of our digital borders. They are the ones who stand between us and the cyber culprits, who work endlessly to guarantee our digital safety. They're not merely a part of a company's cybersecurity strategy. They are the cornerstone. Without them, companies would be left exposed to cyber attacks, data breaches, and other digital risks. It's no hyperbole to say that SOCs are the shields guarding a company in the immense battlefield of the digital world. In a nutshell, SOCs are the shields that protect an organization in the vast battlefield of the digital world. Who are the people that make a SOC effective and how do they contribute to its function? Well, let's dive into it. At the heart of every SOC are the dedicated cybersecurity professionals who work round the clock to ensure the organization's digital safety. These include analysts, threat hunters, incident responders, and SOC managers, each playing a unique role in the cybersecurity ecosystem. Analysts are the eyes and ears of the SOC. They are responsible for monitoring network traffic, analyzing system logs, and identifying suspicious activity that could spell trouble. Their expertise in areas such as network and endpoint security enables them to spot the faintest signs of a security breach and kickstart the incident response process. Threat hunters, on the other hand, are the proactive force within the SOC. They don't wait for security alerts to pop up. Instead, they actively seek out potential threats and vulnerabilities using advanced techniques and threat intelligence to anticipate and prevent cyber attacks before they happen. Incident responders are the firefighters of the SOC. When a security incident flares up, they are the ones who rush to the scene armed with digital forensics tools and incident response playbooks. They work tirelessly to contain the incident, eradicate the threat and restore normal operations as quickly as possible. And then there are the SOC managers. They are the strategic leaders who oversee the SOC's operations, ensuring that all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. They coordinate the efforts of analysts, threat hunters and incident responders, while also liaising with other stakeholders within the organization to ensure a unified approach to cybersecurity. But the key to a SOC's effectiveness lies not just in the individual roles, but in how these roles intertwine. It's about the seamless collaboration between the analysts, threat hunters, incident responders and SOC managers. It's about the collective expertise they bring to the table, their shared commitment to protecting the organization and the synergies they create by working together. So the next time you think about a SOC, remember that it's not just about the technology or the processes, it's about the people. The people in ASOC are its greatest strength, working tirelessly to safeguard the organization from cyber threats. In what processes do SOCs adhere to ensure consistency and efficiency? This question gets to the heart of how security operations centers operate. ASOC's effectiveness hinges on well-defined processes and workflows which serve as a roadmap for incident detection, analysis, triage, escalation and resolution. Let's start with incident detection. 
This is where the SOC's technological arsenal comes into play, continuously monitoring network traffic, system logs and security alerts for signs of anomalous activity indicative of security breaches. But technology alone isn't enough. It's the human element, the skilled cybersecurity professionals, who turn raw data into actionable intelligence. Once an incident is detected, the next step is analysis. SOC analysts delve into the details, leveraging their expertise in network security, endpoint security, threat intelligence, and digital forensics to ascertain the nature, scope, and root cause of the incident. This stage is critical in understanding the threat and formulating an effective response. Next, we have incident triage. This is where analysts prioritize incidents based on on their severity, impact, and relevance to the organization's risk profile. Not all security incidents are created equal, and it's crucial to focus resources on those that pose the greatest threat. Then comes escalation. Depending on the severity of the incident, it may be necessary to escalate the situation to higher levels of management or even external organizations such as law enforcement or regulatory bodies. This step ensures that the right people are in the loop and can contribute to the incident response. Finally, we reach resolution. This involves mitigating the incident, repairing any damage, and restoring systems to normal operation. But it's not just about putting out fires. It's also about learning from the incident to improve future response efforts and strengthen the organization's overall cybersecurity posture. Throughout these steps, standard operating procedures, SOPs, Incident response playbooks and escalation matrices guide the SOC's actions. These tools provide a consistent, repeatable approach to managing cyber threats, ensuring that no step is overlooked and that best practices are followed. With clear processes, SOCs can ensure a consistent, repeatable approach to managing cyber threats. What technologies do SOCs utilize to detect and respond to security threats? Let's delve into the tech arsenal of a security operations center. One of the fundamental tools in their kit is the Security Information and Event Management Platform, or SEM for short. These platforms are the eyes and ears of the SOC, collecting and analyzing log data from across an organization's digital terrain. They help identify anomalies and potential threats, contributing to the early detection of security incidents. Intrusion detection systems, or IDS, play a crucial role as well. Think of them as vigilant watchmen, constantly on the lookout for suspicious activity within a network. They use signature-based detection to identify known threats and anomaly-based detection to spot unusual behavior that could signify an unknown threat. Endpoint detection and response solutions, commonly known as EDR, focus on safeguarding endpoints, the devices that connect to a network. These could be servers, laptops, mobile phones, and more. EDR solutions monitor these endpoints for malicious activity and swiftly respond to neutralize any detected threats. Now let's talk about threat intelligence platforms or TIPS. These platforms gather and analyze information about emerging and existing cyber threats from a variety of sources. This intelligence helps SOCs anticipate potential attacks and formulate proactive defense strategies. Last but not least, we have security orchestration, automation, and response tools, conveniently abbreviated as SOAR. These tools streamline and automate routine tasks, allowing SOC personnel to focus on more complex tasks. They also improve incident response times and help enforce consistent application of security policies. Each of these technologies plays a pivotal role in the SOC's mission. They provide comprehensive visibility into network activity, correlate security events to detect threats, and automate incident response actions for rapid threat mitigation. By harnessing the power of these tools, SOCs can monitor, analyze, and respond to an array of security incidents, safeguarding the organization from the relentless barrage of cyber threats. Through advanced technology, SOCs are equipped to tackle the ever-evolving cyber threats. That's all for today's deep dive into security operations centers. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Sentinel Skills for more. Stay safe and stay informed.